Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another tying video today. Today it's a nymph pattern and it's a classic styled nymph kind of thing almost. Um, it's a Barry Ward Clark pattern that I found in an old fly tire magazine and I really like the looks of it and I thought I'd share it with you. So it was really fun for me to tie and the cool thing about it and why I suggest you tie some is tie it for the practice because it's a lot of basic techniques here that work on them, get them down, and like I always say, build on your techniques. All fly tying is is multiple techniques stacked on top of each other to make different patterns. And this is, has a lot of basic techniques that are very important, like the legs here, using the pheasant tail sticking out over the eye and peeling them back to make legs. That's a very basic technique, but it's a one that's a little bit difficult, takes a little bit of practice if you're a beginning tire. So, have fun tying guys. Here you're gonna see a picture of the fly and then the material list to tie it. Here you see the copper nymph in the vise, very cool fly, pretty easy to tie. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, we're going to use a 1560 Daiichi hook. This is a one extra strong hook, um, just a nice nymph hook. And for thread, we're going to use some nano silk, this is brown. We're just going to start that on there, wrap that back towards the bend to where we're going to put the tail on. For a tail, we're using some light olive dyed mallard flank. And just taking a clump of that, well, like about 10 fibers or so. And I want that to be about the length of the hook shank. Not much, not any longer. I'd maybe a little bit shorter. Um, shorten that up just a hair. There we go, I like that. And right to the bend there. And then I'm gonna come up with this, use it to build up just a slight bit of body, taper that off there. And I wanna build up just a hair, but not much at all, so that's good. Next thing I'm gonna put on is some black brassy sized ultra wire. This is gonna be the rib on my fly, and I'm gonna run that right down the side. This one I'll put on the side closest to me and go right back to that tail. Then on the other side, I'm gonna put the body material, which is called the copper nymph. You can use copper wire. I have gold wire handy here. I'm gonna tie it in gold. It'll make a great golden stone fly imitation. Tie it in whatever color you want to. Experiment and have fun. Um, again, get it right on the side there so you build a little bit of width to this fly. And I'm gonna go about two or three eye lengths behind the eye there is where I want that wire, just to build up nice even body. Once I get that wrapped on, I'm just gonna cover it all up nice and even, and get that out of my way. Next thing we're gonna put on is a piece of pheasant tail, and I'm gonna use about, I don't know, eight or 10 fibers or so. I'm gonna pinch them, get them by the tips, and I'm gonna tie it in by the tips here. And once I get a couple wraps on, then I'll pull it into where I tie all the tips down and I wanna keep this right on top. All right, now we're gonna smooth out the body here. So I want this nice, smooth, even tapered up through here. And that's important because this wire that we're gonna put on next is gonna take the shape of whatever the body is underneath it. So you wanna, you want it nice and smooth here. All right, I like that. So now we're gonna bring our thread up here to the front up by the eye, and I'm gonna put it in my hook material holder here. And just make a couple wraps to get started. And then I'm gonna switch to my rotary vise. And I want nice tight wraps here. So I'll get a wrap or two and then tighten it up with my thumbnail. Just to get it nice and nice and tight looking. There we go and then work this up. You can do this by hand. You don't have to have a rotary vise. It just goes a lot quicker if you do. 
and make nice side-by-side -side wraps up through there. Until we get the whole way up. All right, now. Now that we're the whole way up here, oops, we're going to tie this off. And cut our tag off. And then we're going to bring the back up over this, which is our pheasant tail fibers here. Just going to run that nice and straight right up over the back and tie it off. Make two or three wraps here just to get it where you want it so you can tweak it around a little bit. You don't make it real, real tight. And then take your wire and cinch it into place with your wire. Make nice even wraps here to get a nice even rib going up through there. Really set that up, um, abdomen off. So, And then again, tie it off right there. All right, and then we're going to cut off our pheasant tail here. Now, next thing we're going to do is go back in with some more pheasant tail fibers. This time I'm going to grab about 10 or 12 here at least. I'm going to grab a clump of them. This is going to be my legs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these out over the eye here. Tie it, put them out where it comes right out over the eye, and I'm going to tie it in right behind the eye. So just set them on top. Get them the right length here, which is about, I'm going to say about two eye lengths out past the eye and then tweak it where it stays on top there. And then we're going to run this. This will also become our wing case. So I'm going to run that back here just over my wraps, just a hair. So I want to be about one third and two thirds. Now we're going to put some peacock curl on. I'm going to tie it in by the tips. I'm going to cut them tips off just a little bit so it's a little easier to deal with. Tie that in by the tips. And then we're going to wrap these forward up there towards my, what will be my legs, up towards the tips of those pheasant tail fibers. Wrap that forward. And you can wrap back over if you need to build up a a little bit of body if you have some smaller harrow or something but don't build it up too thick keep it proportionate like always then wrap this harrow off and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to split these legs in half I'm going to try getting half go in each direction and this is probably the most difficult part is the legs so I'm just going to peel them each go in each direction and then hold them on the side and make a couple wraps to wrap them into place there. Once I got that where I want it, then we're going to bring our wing case down over the top and wrap our wing case off. And then I like to make a couple wraps right in front of the wing case. Just to stand it up just a hair, get a nice tight cut and then wrap my head off. And that's all it's to this cool looking fly. Once we get this whip finish on here, if you want, put a little bit of head cement on there, dress it up just a little bit. But that's good on my proportions there. I like the length of those legs. It turned out great. There you go. See it from the top view there. See it with your legs and everything. It's good to go. Okay guys, hope you like that pattern. Pretty simple with a little bit of practice and uh, it's gonna catch a fish. I'm a nymph guy, a Euro nymph kind of guy and you know, not no weight on this fly. It's not my typical style of fly to, tie, to fish but it is fun for me to tie because it's old school like and I like tying that kind of stuff. So I hope you do too. Like I said in the video, um, Barry originally tied this with copper wire Copper wire works great. I had gold handy and gold looks great here. You know, this would make a great golden stonefly. Tie it a little bit bigger and uh, use it for a golden stonefly pattern. It would be awesome. Or tie it this size and it's going to work great for a, a, a small stonefly. You know, stoneflies are cool because they have a long lifespan and you're going to see tiny ones and big ones in the stream. So 
have them in different sizes, tie them in different colors, you know, tie some orange ones or whatever, use them as attractor flies. Just have fun and experiment. If you need any of the materials, like always, go to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. And if you want me to tie these or any other flies, wholesingersflyshop at gmail goes right to me. You can ask me any questions there. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoy bringing these to you. Till next week when I bring you another one, I'm Sean Holsinger.